Lions TV, we are sponsored by Regal Elevators and Lifts Consultants Limited, a company that is owned and operated by a Millwall fan, just like every single one of the sponsors that you can already see on the screen. If you are going to do a bit of business in 2022, then please keep it in the Mill family by checking out all of our sponsors' website links in the description Below, this is your preview show for Saturday's home game against Nottingham Forest at the Den. Nottingham Forest have sold out their allocation. 1,978 fans will make the journey south to the Den. It should make for a good day in South Bermondsey. As always, let's start out by taking a look at the 11 that the gaffer might pick to get the job done. So, two straight defeats for Millwall, one in the league and one in the cup. I've been full of praise for the team. I want him to give everything for the calls. I want to feel entertained for the money that I pay to go to games. And I have been in the last game, despite us conceding five in the last two. And as I said, back-to-back -back defeats against Bristol City and our local rivals, Crystal Palace, in the cup. What will he do on the day, Gary Rowett? I think he should go back to a flat-back four, but I don't think he will. I think you're going to see Alex Pierce play again. I don't think he's been bad by any stretch of the imagination. I just think he was... Completely out of the picture, and we wasn't expecting him to play at all, really. But he's come back into the team. He's done all right, in my opinion, and I think he'll keep his place. Murray Wallace wasn't at the Crystal Palace game as he was at the birth of his child or expected birth at any minute of his child. So I don't know if that's happened yet, but I fully expect Murray Wallace, if available, to come back in to the left wing back position. Other than that, I think he'll probably go with an unchanged side. As I said, they give everything for the calls. Ojo's looking good in the 10, the front. Two are looking good as a partnership. I like the Savile-Mitchell partnership. I think Savile was much better against Crystal Palace. A little bit back to his old self. So I think that's the team we'll go with. Let's move on to our opposition. It is, as I've already mentioned, Nottingham Forest. Managed by Gollum, of course. No, otherwise known as Steve Cooper. Great manager. Left Swansea. Come to Nottingham Forest. Got them moving again. And I said, well, we're coming to the damn banging form. But not so much. They've won two drawn two and lost one of their last five league games. They've lost the last two in the league. However, they did knock out in the cup at the city ground last time out. So they'll be coming to South Bermondsey absolutely full of beans. The one to watch for Nottingham Forest is an ex-Millwall player, you know I'm going to say, Pube Beard, Lewis Graben, used to play for the Lions. He scored three in his last five, and he got the winner against Arsenal last time out. And he will be looking to do the business again against his old club, as he often does at the Den. So this is your pre-match prediction, and here we go. I want us to be full of beans. I want us to assert ourselves. I want us to give everything for the calls. I want us to be on the front foot, but I don't think we're going to be, and I think we're going to go back to same old boring Gary you know, let's consolidate, let's react to if they score a goal, we'll try and go and nick Sang out of the game. And for that reason, I'm going for a 1-1 one, one draw with Benica Fobe to get the goal. That's your lot for this preview show. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please be sure to check out the fan score predictions from the other boys at Lions TV. That's going to go out Friday. You're watching this Thursday. It's currently Wednesday morning and I'm sitting in Richmond, just about to film in a £10 million mansion. How about that for a job? It's not mine. I wish it was. Maybe if the YouTube subscribers keep coming, I might get there one day. And on that note, there is a new graphic. Barsh, there you go. 25,000 subscribers is the target. I know I always say at the end of the video, but if you haven't, please, please subscribe to Lions TV. And I'll see you at the Den on Saturday for a live stream direct from the Den. To my knowledge, the only fan channel in existence that gives you live match day commentary. I'm going to say it again. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.